What's up everybody, Steven Zekiel here bringing a surprise announcement slash reaction video slash just talking about something I like video. Um, you should check out the Anime War Episode 2 intro video on here. I, I'll definitely check that out. Yeah, Mystic. I might check that out. Um, but today we are checking out something I am a collector of. Now you guys know me as a Dragon Ball fan. I have figures in the back, but I also... I like to collect the cards. You know, you know the the cards I collect. These ones. I actually just recently picked this one up online. Um, so, if you guys know me. I like the the Dragon Ball uh, cards and stuff like that. Like these booster boxes and stuff like that. I get a couple of these here and there whenever they uh, drop some new ones and hopefully pull some epicness. Like, of course. Some of my favorites. Um, I would have to say my all-time most expensive cards. These guys right here. Pulled both of these out of two booster boxes. And of course the signed cards as well. I bought them individually actually. That's about the best way to show you. Um, and I just love these cards. I like collecting them. I want to get them graded in the future. I just can't afford it right now because grading costs a little bit of extra money. And I need to set down a t t time and day to just... Do the paperwork and try to get cards uh, graded. So today, Bandai dropped a trailer. Now I've never like did a reaction to any of the past trailers for any of their other uh, videos and stuff like that. But I I want to check out this one because it says Assault of the Saiyans. Now I did get a tiny bit of a spoiler on Twitter about this. Tiny, tiny. I'm not even going to say it until after I see it in the trailer, but I hope to God what I saw as a teaser is a real fucking card. It's a joke of a card, but it's a what the fuck, I kind of wanted it's dope card. <laughs> now if you guys, if you guys can guess what the card is, I'll tell you guys after we watch the trailer, but if you guys can guess it, uh, shout out to you guys. So. Uh, let's see. Let me add that to this thing. Was that the right one? There it is. All right. So this is off of the Bandai uh, Bandai's web. Like I think this is actually no. This is probably not them with how many subscribers it is. I'm not sure if that's them officially, but the trailer's here. So it's probably somebody just using their name and copying the trailer. But the trailer that I saw or. No, wait, I saw that this was shared by them on Twitter. So, okay, this might be them, officially. So, I don't know. But, anyways, we're going to check out this trailer for the new set called Dragon Ball Super Series 7 Assault of the Saiyans. Let's check out the new cards. And, I honestly, I did enjoy what they did last set, but it was, it was a little bit of a letdown, especially with how expensive some of the cards were. Like, I'm never going to get that Secret Rare Super Saiyan 3 Majin Broly. That card is way too expensive. It's actually died down in price. It's no longer like a $400 card. It's now like a, I think between a $275 to $300 card. But still, never going to buy that card on its own. <laughs> so let's check out this video. The new block, Infinite Unity, I don't know how loud it is for you guys, but I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It was a little loud on my end. with it, the hidden power. That altered the trajectory of the multiverse. The warrior race known as the Hey, Saiyan. what's up, Gaming Godzilla? Now hey, what's up, Nick? Warriors are assembled for a history shattering showdown. Okay. Of the march the Ooh, of that art, though. That art looks badass. I like that. So, this is a whole Saiyan's. Uh, this is this is why I kind of was hyped for this when I saw this. And I was like, okay, I got to check out this trailer when I do my live stream. Because it's a, it's a whole Saiyan barrage of stuff. New chapter in DBSCG history. In series hey, what's up, Jacob? Oh, my God. Look at that. That I uh, uh they're doing I did hear about this. They're doing multiple different like colors so you can make your decks different. Now the thing about the trailer guys, we don't get we get to see the art, but we don't get to see the effects of the cards and what they actually do. That if you're wondering why the cards look like this. 
They usually don't stay. Uh, hey, what's up, Steven Skyer? Huh, Raditz is. Yeah, there's not too many Raditz cards. Or if any. More Broly. Ah. But Broly's second coming. Tricky maneuvering and ironclad defense. Man, these cards. Okay, getting a little bit more love with the future arc, which I've been wanting. I I I want a special. I want. They had did. They had done a uh, SR uh, Goku Black, but they only did like one, and they have never done anything with Murd Zumasu or. Um, Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose. I want a special rare. I want a special rare version. Maybe not a secret, but who knows? Okay. Oh, so it's real! Super Saiyan 3 Nappa! Okay, I saw somebody post... Okay, on Twitter, I saw someone post an image of that saying Super Saiyan 3 Nappa in the new trailer. What the fuck? Look at that beard! That goatee! Look at that shit! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Nappa 2 OP! Look at that beard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, beard too overpowered. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Nappa. It's a real thing. Oh my god. Oh. Infinitely powerful Saiyans assemble. Get your hands on infinite Saiyan rares. And so, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He's going to have his own card. Honestly, I, I, I really want to pull that card. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I really want that now, but just because of how it's a meme. That's a meme. That's an upcoming meme. The, the, the beard. <laughs> the beard is the power. <laughs> He's got such a massive beard because of this. Like, all he has is normal goatee, and then it just. <laughs> Instead of hair, he still gets no hair. <laughs> uh. Super Saiyan 3 Nappa saying, Vegeta, I can fly. <laughs> uh, God damn, that's awesome. All right, see, let's see what else is going on. Holy shit, that's a large amount. Oh, they're bringing back the side guards. Oh, yes. Dude, dude. Dude, those were my. Th I absolutely love them in the prior set. Uh, freaking. Like, I bought two booster boxes. I pulled two of these guys. But I went out of my way and I bought these guys individually. I, I have the Vegeta. I have the Goku. I have the Frieza. I have the Beerus. Now I have to get the Gohan. The Vegito signed by both Sean Schemmel and freaking Chris Sabat. The Trunks and the Hits. I will definitely... I'm... I'm uh, it, Even if I don't buy the booster... Like, uh, I'm, uh, I'm already going to say this. I'm buying at least two booster boxes. Yeah. Oh my god. I love those type of cards. They're amazing! <laughs> uh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, I can already tell out of the four of them... Vegito is probably going to be the most expensive. And depending on how playable, I would say it's probably going to go in this order. No offense, but un unless their uh, playability is a factor too. Because a lot of cards go up in price because of popularity and of playability. So, depending, without knowing what they do, I'm going to call this. Vegito is probably going to be the most expensive out of the four. Then it's going to be Hit, Gohan, then Trunks. That's how I see it. Series 7 also introduces two types of pre-constructed decks. Oh, the nice. The Saiyan Legacy Starter Deck is perfect for new players. And oh, cool. King Vegeta Deck. Nice. Tons of powerful Saiyans. Five Starter Deck exclusive foils, including two with a gold-stamped treatment. 
Where is Crowfather? He's been oh, uh, he's hasn't shown up in a stream in a long time. But hey, he has he has a life. Oh, my dog just walked in my room. The deck includes ten exclusive cards, along with a standard series seven. Sometimes a person has too much on their plate. Exclusive cards and the next leader get a stunning foil treatment. If you already know the ropes, there's no better way to power up. I never really buy the starter decks. Like I, I haven't bought like at all any of them. But there's still a couple cards from like the prior series uh, star decks. I wouldn't mind just getting just for the main cards. Three releases arrive July twenty sixth. Ooh, your hands on a July. Set. Each kit includes six Series 7 boosters and two pre-release packs. You want the King of Vegeta deck here? Yeah, uncommon, that'd be cool. Rare. Buy a booster box during the pre-release for an exclusive Series 7 Super Dash pack. The Hell yeah. cards feature awesome new backgrounds. Okay, so, cool. so we will get a... Okay, I would like that. I would like some of those, but... prove themselves as the ultimate Saiyan warrior. Dragon Ball Super Card Game Series 7 Assault of the Wait, they Sand. said special rares, but did they even say uh, secret rares? Check the official Wait, listen. Site. 235 cards in all with two unique secret rares. Uh, okay, I thought I saw the words when I was scrolling. Okay, secret rare. So we're going to have two secret rares. Oh, okay. So one thing I like is I'm... <laughs> okay, so there's two secret rares. I'm kind of hoping one could be Goku <laughs> Black. That'd be kind of cool. But at the same time, it's a Saiyan, um, well, we already got, like, mm. well, he just did Majin Broly last set, and, and, a um, Evil Supreme Kid Buu kind of secret rare, so, who do you guys think are going to be the two next secret rares? It, it's, wait a second, one second, I have most of the secret rares, I don't have all of them, but I believe there's no secret rare Vegeta. No. Ooh! Ooh! I would love it if there's a Secret Rare Evolution Blue Vegeta. That would make sense, because he's the Prince of All Saiyans, and this is a Saiyan fucking deck. There needs to be a, a Evolution Blue uh, su uh, Secret Rare Vegeta. There needs to be. That needs to be one of the Secret Rares. Um, What else? Me? No, I, I would say if they did anything, it would be uh, Vegeta. I was about to say King Vegeta, but I don't think they'll do a King Vegeta Secret Rare. Um, Xeno Vegito Super Saiyan 4. Oh, that would be badass! Vegeta and Rose. That's not bad. Zeno could be one. Nah, they're not going to give Zeno a Secret Rare. He doesn't need one. Like honestly, this is a this is a say assault of a, uh, assault of the Saiyans. There has to they have to be both Saiyan related, not Zeno. Over nine thousand Vegeta is the rarest. <laughs> no, they did already. They have a they have a secret rare Gogeta. Um, although they don't have a Super Saiyan Blue secret rare Gogeta, they have a su a secret rare Super Saiyan Three Gogeta. Um, and they already have Secret Rare Vegito Blue. Like, I have that one as well. Bought that one for 40 bucks. Oh no, 30, 30, 34, 34. Yeah. <clears throat> Super Saiyan Rose Evolution. You know, you're not wrong. They could do something similar to something like that. Like, we, we've, ne uh, mm. Ultra Instinct Gogeta? That would be cool. Um, what about Super Movie Broly? You know what? There is a lot of potential with these two secret rares. There really is. I am I am hoping I am somewhat hoping for a secret rare Vegeta because they he has he we have enough go there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, Goku secret rares. There is a lot of type of or uh uh, there's so many like mm. Ultra Instinct Vegeta. <laughs> well, they could do that, but at the same time, I don't think they would. Uh, there's a lot that they could do. Uh, also, no. Oh wait, no, he's more of a hybrid. I don't know. Maybe a, a secret rare Gohan, like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from like the Cell games, could be one. There's a lot that they could do. There's a lot. 
But overall, I can definitely see this set coming out. Uh, but can we just say, MVP in the chat for our boy. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where, there he is. Super Saiyan 3 Nappa! <laughs> uh, Super Saiyan Blue, Evolution, Kaioken, tw times 20, Vegito. Oh, ho, ho, ho. true. That is true. There, There is that. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue, Mastered Ultra Instinct, Vegito. <laughs> There's a lot they could do. They're, they, let's just say, they made a secret rare in the last set. Su Super Saiyan 3 Majin Broly. So, there's a lot. Ultra Instinct Yamcha. <laughs> uh, uh, still gets his throne back all the time. Yeah. He might be go. Crowfather might be away, but eventually he will come back and probably take his throne <laughs> as the stream boss. He always does. But um, 20 people watching. Holy shit! Thanks, guys. Uh, let me know what do you guys. By the way, in the chat right now, does anyone in here besides I guess besides me collect these cards? Um, and uh, are you looking forward to this set? And does this seeing seeing this set make you kind of? want to get especially like I believe if they go the same route they have been going every booster box and I'm hoping it does every booster box at least guarantees you one special rare or better which the sign cards are all these ones are the special rares so these one of these will be hopefully be guaranteed per box unlike in the past when I opened up the Master Ultra Instinct cards um, when I open up this booster box right here, these are the boot. This, this is the booster box right here. Don't fall! Don't fall! Don't fall! All right. Stop it! All right, there we go. When I opened up this box right here, I've opened up two of these boxes. This box was never guaranteed for you to pull anything more than seven SR cards. And if you did pull a special rare card, then you would only be given six SR cards. But if you pulled an, uh, a secret rare, aka the Master Ultra Instinct Goku, then you would also get 7 SR cards. This booster box was a limited thing. When I bought this, they were 70 bucks. Now if you want to buy this booster box, it's fucking almost $300. I wish I bought a couple more so I could sell. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Super Saiyan 5 Nappa. <laughs> I don't collect these cards. Somewhat. Okay. Super Saiyan 4 Nappa. Super Saiyan 4 Nappa versus Ultra Instinct Shaggy. <laughs> Ultra Instinct Beard Nappa. Oh my god. 2 OP. <laughs> Man, these cards are expensive. Yeah. Just, uh, I'm not even lying. Like, if you look up this card... I was super lucky pulling two of them, and I still need to get them graded. If I get these cards, these two graded, they go for a thousand dollars for PSA each. Now, right now in my hand, they go for about three hundred and fifty to four hundred cards not graded. So I'm holding right now over six hundred dollars in my hand because of the cards, and they go up and down. Sometimes they're four hundred, and sometimes they're five hundred for a raw card. It just depends on the timing and if people are selling it at a certain price. So. Check out Mastar's video. I want to see your reaction. Okay, we'll check out that actually. Since you you became the stream boss, Mystic, you get a choice of reaction from me. So let me just set that up. Uh, if you guys want to check out another stream, uh, if you missed this as an individual video, I actually might try to post this later tonight or something because this is like brand new stuff. So this will be a later video tonight after I get back from work or something or tomorrow's video. I'm going to probably try to post two videos tomorrow actually. Maybe three. I'm not sure yet. But I'll also do a gaming stream tomorrow, so look out for that. <laughs> a lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. I want to get a lot of shit done for my channel. I want to do a lot. Um, but, yes. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And try to check out the stream in the future. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And, uh, yeah. Until next time. Later. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you want more, check out the description below. Hope to see you guys in a later video. Also, have an awesome day.